Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video on this newish feature from NVIDIA called image scaling and it is sort of works the way DLSS does, but again, not all games offer DLSS. So this you can mess with in the NVIDIA control panel and you can have it work on any game that you want. So what you want to do is you want to go to the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust settings with preview and make sure that the use the advanced 3D settings is uh, circled. So from there you go to manage 3D settings and on global settings, uh, sometimes this will take a while to load in depending on your machine, uh, go to global settings and it's the very first one and you want to make sure that it is on. So normally it'll be off so you want to click it on and you want to hit overlay indicator so that you can see that it's actually working on the game. It'll show up in the top left corner and it'll say NIS, NVIDIA Image Scaling. So you turn it on and since it's you're probably on the resolution that for your monitor, top resolution, just keep it about 30 or you know mess with it depending on how sharp you want it to look. But 30 is around where it looks about the same. So hit OK, hit Apply when it pops up at the bottom. Now, you don't want to have the games use image scaling as like the global setting. You want to mess with it on your own. So you can see, let's for example, Destiny 2, you want to have, sometimes you'll have to add it. Uh, but for Destiny 2, uh, you want to go to image scaling and it'll be on because, or it'll be available because the global setting is there. So I have it at 15% right now. And the reason for that is because you need to go to change resolution. You want to keep your base monitor at your native resolution if you have a monitor that has higher than 60 hertz. Mine is 144, so I keep it at the base. But what you want to do is you want to scroll up to scaling resolution. So this is for machines and, that are just not as powerful. Uh, and they could take advantage of the scaling, the image scaling, just for just using it in general. So what this shows me is that you can have your monitor resolution at a lower resolution and image scaling will scale it up to your native resolution. But unfortunately, the refresh rate will go down to 60 hertz. So if you have one that's more than 60 hertz, 144, keep it at your native. So for the games, what you want to do is you want to look at these resolutions. You want to have something above 77% or, you know, above 77%. Uh, other than that, below that, it'll start to look kind of blurry. <clears throat> so the 77% is saying that this resolution is 77% of your native resolution. So I'm going to change. You have to go into the game's resolution and change it to either so for 1440p, you want it to be 2176 by 1224 or 1969 by 1108. So I'm going to go down into my game. I'm going to keep this at 1440. So in the game, I'm going to keep it at 77. So I'm going to go down to that resolution. So what I need to do on the game settings, the program settings, is I need to move the sharpen to 33 percent so what that's saying is that resolution is going to be 77 percent of my 1440p so it's going to be running the game at that i need to increase the sharpen on the game settings the program settings to sharpen it up to 1440p so that it'll look as close as possible to a native 1440p. If you go above that, which it's up to your preference, but I would just essentially go up to 100%. But you can go past that, but to me, it'll look too too sharp and it'll look kind of iffy. But again, it's up to your preference. So I'm gonna put this up to 33% and hit apply. We'll let this go through the motions. It's there, so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna boot up Destiny. Okay, so now that I'm in, I'm going to go into the settings video. So I have set the resolution to 1969 by 1108. And before, when I was running at just native 1440, 
I had to bring down settings like anti-aliasing down to FXAA. I turned this screen space ambient occlusion off. Most of these settings were on, e on, on medium because when there's a ton of action happening, the game would drop below 60 frames and it's very apparent the performance drop. But with this NVIDIA image scaling, since Destiny 2 does not have DLSS, I can bring down the resolution to 1969 by 1108 and have image scaling sharpen the remaining 33%. And the game looks almost identical to a native 1440. And you can see the frame rate is just up here at like 180 to 160 just floating. And when I go into a world, like let's say Savathun's home world, um, normally it would go to about, you know, it would float around 55 to about 70 and kind of fluctuate depending on what kind of stuff is happening. When I was at native 1440, at medium settings while I'm streaming. The other thing is that my streaming software kind of bogs down some performance because I need to use the GPU to record and stream. So I have super high settings and it you can see it's still fluctuating but the high settings look good and it's still running smooth. If I want to bring it down you know bring down the settings to about high medium I'm gonna get more frame rate FPS than I did before running at native 1440 so that's the big thing. If I can run at 1440 native with medium settings and get the same performance as bumping everything to high, the highest setting and with image scaling and get the, the same performance, that's fantastic because the image scaling scales everything up to look exactly the same to me. And I can get better graphics that way, better just better effects, high quality effects and everything. So definitely give NVIDIA image scaling a try, especially if you have an older car that doesn't have DLSS. And that's the other thing, you can use it on games that offer DLSS, but if you don't have an RTX card, use the image scaling. It works, it works great. Image scaling uses its own AI that the RTX cards come with. That's fine, it works really well on those games. But again, not all games offer that. So. If you're looking to get some extra performance out of your games and you're like, my card is, you know, feels like it's at the end of its life, um, try out the image scaling. You'll get more out of your card and everything will look pretty much just as it did, you know, with native resolution, which is wild. This is a great feature from NVIDIA that they included for older cards you know, non-RTX cards where you can squeeze out more performance and make your make your hardware last longer, essentially, you know? Get more out of it. All right, if you guys like any more of these kinds of videos, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.